Okay, we got a sugar in his blood tag. Let's begin. Got sugar in his blood, sugar in his blood tag. We're gonna have a sugar in his blood tag. Question one. You are trapped in a hallway, and the only means of escape are a series of doors, each labeled with one of the deadly sins. Lust, greed, gluttony, sloth, anger, envy, and pride. Which door do you pick for your escape, and why? Um... Gluttony, because I like food. Okay. Number two. The predictions of the end of the world in 2012 are proving true. Scientists reveal that a meteor will hit the Earth and cause massive extinction and worldwide catastrophic destruction. What are the first three things you do? Well, let's see. I'm going to quit my job. And I'm going to get all my money in the bank. And I am... Of course, you know, if, oh, we all are going to quit our job because cause it's the end of the world. We're going to quit my job. You mean, I, you mean I can't get groceries? You mean because I, I, I can't get lab dances anymore? I can't have a last lab dance because, well, you quit your job because it's the end of the world? Uh, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to keep my job because I don't work that many hours. And I'll just have, I'll just relax and, and travel around the state before I die. And I want to make a YouTube video. The last YouTube video of Planet Earth will be of the asteroid hitting the planet. Okay. You are trapped inside of an elevator on a Friday afternoon. Your cell phone has no signal. No one will come looking for you until the following Monday, nor answer the help button. You notice the trap door in the ceiling of the elevator. Do you chance climbing the slippery cable to the upper hallway several floors above you or do you sit and wait three days for rescue? Oh, I guess I guess if I fail climbing the slippery rope that I fall on my death in some way, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, the only problem with staying and waiting for rescue is water. Um, you get a little peckish after three days of that food, but that's fine, you'll eat something. But water, you kind of get in trouble with after three days. And, well, I know there's all the poo and the pee that will end up being in there. Um, that's that's going to be somebody else's mess. That's not my problem. So, damn it. Uh, um, mm, 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 pee in a corner. Pee in one corner, nap in the other. Uh, it's going to be awfully boring. Uh, okay, Cable. Alright, Cable. You know, the first, I got, I got to finish, my, I got to do my YTO thing for the day. So, you know, yeah, I got to do YTO. So I'm going to take my chance with the Cable and I'll climb out and, and vlog about it for YTO. Okay, let's move on. You are so excited that you've been invited to attend the Academy Awards ceremonies. You're in your best formal attire, aghast and starstruck by all the glamour and celebrity. Having to visit the restroom, you make your way through the crowd to find the, the facility. You attend to business, but when, but when, exciting, when, when exiting, your clothes get snagged on the door frame and rip away, leaving you in the foyer amidst the flashbulbs and celebrities in your underwear. Trying to re-enter the restroom doesn't work because your ripped off clothes have jammed the door. What do you do? Well, hell, you're, gonna, you're still going to be... This is where you need to wear clean underwear, okay? Assuming you actually are wearing underwear. You probably not. You probably don't wear underwear, Stevie, but that's fine. I do. You need to wear clean underwear, okay? And you're probably still going to be dressed better than some of these celebrities in their stupid little outfits. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think so. Some of them look like lampshades and, and the insides of caskets. And you and your underwear, you're still going to look better. So just parade it. Be proud of that. Moving on. Number five. You are in a restaurant. When you spy a family member across the room, sitting at a table with someone who is not their spouse, you watch as they hold hands and look into each other's eyes with obvious intimate affection. What do you do? Um... Um, I leave. That's, I just leave. Um, yeah, that's it. I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go there. Um, anyway.
Number six. You are the person. Excuse me. You are with the person of your ultimate sexual fantasy. They are crazy about you and are all horned up and ready for a night of smoldery hot passion. There's a but. And I don't mean a behind. I mean, where's the surprise? Let's find out. Whipped up into a veritable frenzy of lust and desire, you're about to grab each other and get busy dancing in the horizontal hokey pokey. When they do or say something that you totally disagree with or hate, do you overlook it and have the have the sex anyway, or does it totally spoil the mood? What is it that that, that I'm not thinking with my big head here, okay? I really don't want to hear my sex partner thinks, well, I think I think I saw Bin Laden die of kidney failure in in, 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 in a Saudi hospital 10 years ago, and, and, and the president's not really an American, and, and Lee Harvey Oswald did that to us, and then, and then, and then, and then, shut up. I'm not, my eyes are rolled back, in, my eyes are rolled in the back of my head, okay? I'm not, I'm not listening to anything she's saying. All we hear is, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. That's all I want to hear. That's all I want to hear. I don't want to hear about conspiracy theories or political ideas or anything else. Just, just be quiet and let's do this. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow.